刻むぜハモンのビート If you're familiar with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and especially if you're part of its fandom online, you may be familiar with the memes surrounding this image. That being a manga panel where Polnareff questions why Kakuin has laid an egg. This originates from a well known JoJo Boys Love Dojin created by Clamp, titled JoJo's Bizarre Married Life. It's most well known among JoJo fans as a story in which Jotaro and Kakuin get married, resulting in Kakuin laying an egg that hatches into their son, Jota, who has his own stand power that is a combination of Star Platinum and Hierophant Green named Charmy Green. The fact that such a story exists is funny in and of itself, but very few JoJo fans actually know the full extent of the story itself. In this video, I'd like to go over the surprisingly detailed history behind JoJo's bizarre married life. As well as the content of the story itself, to hopefully give a lot of new and old JoJo fans a better look at the full story behind this meme. If you're an anime fan, there's a good chance you're already familiar with Clamp, since they're responsible for the creation of multiple popular anime and manga series. They're an all female manga artist group best known for the popular magical girl manga Cardcaptor Sakura, as well as other well known manga like Chobits and XXXholic. They also contributed character designs for multiple anime series, most notably Code Geass. Before their more well known stories, however, they also created multiple fan works based on other properties. In March of 1994, in a fanzine titled Clamp Laboratory 6, the first part of the JoJo's Bizarre Married Life story was published. The first chapter begins after the events of Part 3, in an alternate history where Kakuin, Iggy, and Avdol survived. Jotaro forces Kakuin to sign marriage papers and he quickly becomes his housewife. Kakuin befriends Holly and tries to perfect his cooking skills. Dio, who is now their next door neighbor, appears to steal their breakfast, resulting in a stand battle between him and Jotaro. Dio eats the food but ends up poisoned by Kakuin's bad cooking, resulting in a scene that calls back to his defeat from Part 3. Out of love for Kakuin, Jotaro eats the food and is unaffected. Later, Jotaro brings Kakuin to his bedroom. Joseph tries to spy on them with Hermit Purple, with the other characters also joining in. The next day, Jotaro confronts them, having known that Joseph spied on him by sensing him through their Jostar blood. Similar to the scene in Part 3 where Joseph and Jotaro realize that Dio was spying on them. Jotaro beats them up while Kakuin looks disappointed. The next part of the story would release later in the same year as part of Clamp in Wonderland. This was a nationwide event held from July 31st to August 28th, 1994, at various cities across Japan. All visitors of the event were given a copy of the fanzine titled Clamp in Wonderland 1994 Summer. Much like Clamp Laboratory 6, this zine also contains multiple parodies of other franchises, and serves as the origin of this humorous cover that features characters from JoJo alongside others like Cutie Honey, Giant Robo, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Most importantly, however, it contains the continuation of JoJo's bizarre married life as well as the well known egg scene. Kakuin wakes up one morning to find a giant egg in his bed, which he apparently laid overnight. Joseph congratulates him and is happy to have finally become a great grandfather. The egg hatches, giving birth to the son of Jotaro and Kakuin, who is named Jota Kujo. The newborn Jota immediately begins a rivalry with his father. Jota, who was apparently given his name by Joseph, somehow ages within a week to be old enough to attend kindergarten. Although nobody questions this since his birth was already bizarre enough. It's revealed that Jota has a stand, which looks like a tiny green version of Star Platinum. Its legs also unravel, similar to Hierophant Green. The other characters immediately recognize this as a combination of the two stands. Joseph asks Avdol to name the stand, but he can't since he used all the tarot card names already. Jotaro is finally the one to name the stand, naming it Charmy Green after a dish soap brand. Ten years later, Jota has now aged to be a high school student and is friends with Josuke. He demonstrates the powers of Charmy Green, which has abilities from both of his parents' stands. He also has a special attack called Emerald Star Finger, a cross between Hierophant Green's Emerald Splash and Star Platinum's Star Finger. Josuke says he's jealous of Jota for having a man like Jotaro as his father, but he wonders what his mother is like. Jotaro and Kakuin show up, and Josuke is surprised that Jotaro's wife is a man. 
Josuke is touched by the true love between them, while Jota is annoyed due to him resenting Jotaro. That's all there is to the story of Jojo's bizarre married life, but there's actually a few more things to go over. The Clamp in Wonderland event also served as the debut of a series of animated music videos produced by Studio Madhouse. It mostly features characters from Clamp's other works, but notably for us, it features the child and teenage versions of Jota in animated form at the end. The relation between Clamp and Jojo doesn't just stop with fan-created works. In 2006, an interview was published in the XXXholic guidebook between Araki and one of the members of Clamp, Tsubaki Nikoi. Here they detail Araki's meeting with Clamp, which apparently originated from Araki's wife attending the same beauty salon as them. Nikoi talks about her first encounter with Araki's work with Cool Shock BT, one of his manga from before Jojo. Then they talk about XXXholic, with Araki praising its art as well as the efficiency of the four authors working together. The interview ends with Nikoi complimenting Araki for looking so young and comparing him to Rohan. Araki says that the secret to his youth is that he's a Ripple user. The most recent interaction between Clamp and Jojo comes from the 25 Years with Jojo Anniversary pamphlet, which released in 2012. It contains information about the JoJo anime adaptation and the video game All-Star Battle, but most importantly it includes tributes to JoJo from 22 different creators. These include drawings of JoJo characters from artists like Akira Toriyama, Eiichiro Oda, Masashi Kishimoto, Yoshihiro Togashi, and yes, Clamp, who contribute a drawing of Jolene. It's not known if Araki actually read or was aware of Jojo's bizarre married life, despite him having some relationship with Clamp. However, some believe that there was one hint to him knowing about it, which is the stand Stone Free. It's the stand of Jotaro's daughter, and it can also unravel which reminds some of Hierophant Green. Oddly enough, it was also said in the manga that Stone Free's string smells like soap, which some believe is a nod to Charmy Green. Of course, there's no actual proof of this, but it is a cute theory. Jojo's Bizarre Married Life is a hilarious little fan work that has rightfully taken its place as a popular meme in the community. But beyond that, it's also a really interesting piece of the history of Clamp and Jojo that gives a unique look into the world of Japanese fan-created content. Hopefully this video was useful in informing you about this interesting history and has given you a new appreciation for what you might have originally thought was just another meme. If you have any ideas for videos about little-known JoJo content, comment them down below. If you want to be updated on new videos and chapters, join the Hum and Beat Discord using the link in the description. To receive rewards like Discord perks and some uncut videos, you can support the channel on Patreon. And finally, for future videos, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. This is the part of the video where I thank my $5 and up patrons. Thank you to Tony, The Owl God, Alex Ramirez, Doorbell, Monkman, Ashton Joseph Miller, Crayon, Rigo Vids, Sukato, Shane Giger, Sentai, Pumpkin Doge, Marrow, Bailey Smile, Ali, Almighty Quarth, Oof, PBASVG, Kauri, Jojo Agogo, Tucker Gold, Halil, Cake, and Gatlin Grove.